Okay, YouTube, uh, doing a video here on my little hydroponic 3D printed tower. So if you're not aware, hydroponics is growing plants by using water as a medium. So maybe not as a medium, but you don't use soil, okay? I just uh, plant seeds inside of some rock wool. It's almost like an insulation, so it's not dirty in any way. Um, I get the seeds started, and then after they're started, I put them in the tower. These little clay pebbles and stuff are trying to keep as much light out of the tower as possible to cut down on the algae and such. And this tower I 3D printed with uh, PETG, P-E-T-G filament, food grade. Um, I think you could do the same with PLA, but maybe not recommended. If you're worried about plastics and food, you can do some research yourself and choose your um, favorite filament for that. This uh, base is also 3D printed. It's in multi pieces because my printer isn't big enough to do that all in one shot. And this is sitting on a pot that I've that I've bought. Okay, I will link um, some of the parts and descriptions in the video so you can check them out. They are not my design. The 3D modular tower is a free download on Thingiverse. So again, I'm not trying to profit off of his tower, just showing off the design or maybe not showing off the design as I take it apart. This is my first go with hydroponics and I just did my last harvest just due to um, my lettuce is all going to seed. So um, the lettuce isn't going to be as appetizing anymore. On here, we had some lettuce and these lettuce leaves were a little smaller than the first three harvests I got. This was the fourth, and but they did turn out well, okay? And there was some kale on the tower, but this is all I got the entire time were leaves about this big. There are some bigger, there are some smaller. And then there was some cabbage that was grown. Um, but the lettuce just, the lettuce is fast. The lettuce produces. So what you see here, um, I've picked in lettuce three other times, and this is the fourth harvest. So um, in comparison, yeah. I guess just a me. It's just about a bu bucket, about um, three quarters the size of this that I have filled four times. But it's time to take this apart and put in a new crop. I also didn't make this tower as tall as it could be because I wanted to see this thing work before I got too carried away. All right. Anyways, let's just give you a little tour of the tower. There is a little pump in the bottom and you can get these pumps off of Amazon and the pump sits in the bottom and pumps up through a tube water to the top. And then from the top, it filters through these holes and the water comes down on the roots of the plant. So if you took out, let's say this one, cause it, it doesn't have anything in there, you'll see there's water dripping down on there. There's the roots all live on the inside of the tower and they're all saturated and those saturated roots are what's growing the plants. I left that lettuce on there. There were kind of small leaves headed out, so I figured I would just leave some um, behind. So the water gets pumped up through a tube up to the top. Depending on how much flow this is, this might make a mess, but it's usually not too bad. There we go. The water comes up to the top through a pipe or a tube that I put in there and then goes down through those little strainer holes there. Um, pretty happy with this. People said white was gonna grow a lot of algae, but this lived the, the life of the lettuce and there's just some light algae growing inside. So I'm going to take it all apart and scrub it down and recycle all my clay beads that are in there as well. I'll clean them so they can be used in the next, in the next harvest. Yeah. Um, these light these lights you can get off of Amazon. They're just grow lights and These mounts that are holding them are adjustable so they can get further away and This file down here is modular so you can put another 
um, support beam, just a short one or another long one and get the lights further away from the plants. I didn't really get any um, plants giving the lights too much issue with my lettuce tower, um, but they were just starting to touch it. The lights aren't hot on this side, but they do get hot in the middle on this side. So if the plants are touching that, you'll want to extend it, okay? Anyways, I thought I would just show a video of me taking this thing apart and this would be like the unsatisfying gross part of this job. And then I will, um, what I'm doing is I don't have my seedling started yet for my next tower, but I'm going to print this one bigger. It was a success. The food was great. We loved that we were getting lettuce. Uh, we can get lettuce year round out of this from our house. We live in Canada. Um, we have a large garden just outside the window there. And it's gonna give us a lot of food for our freezer um, throughout the winter, but this tower will produce year round. Um, so this modular tower is in pieces. This is one piece and then this is one piece. Three, four, five. So I've printed five of these pods, which gives me 20 plants on the tower. I'm going to put in at least another three um, for my next round. So that will be another 15 plants. I'm kind of a fan of lettuce myself. Uh, my wife did want kale and cabbage and some other things, but I think I'm gonna do 100% uh, lettuce tower because it produces a lot and I was able to harvest it four times and then I can just tear it all apart and start all over, all over again. So I think the longer that your hydroponic tower is in production, maybe the, maybe the messier inside it's gonna be, um, but we're going to we're gonna take a look at this and see what it's like, okay? So, these uh, files actually have nice little holes cut in them for these cords to fit into. And then the lights just pop out and slide out of their mounts. I didn't have a problem with these becoming disconnected at all during this process. So this was well thought out on the designer's part. So we're just gonna take this tower apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Cause I think as far as the video goes, I think you should see the, I don't know, the tough side, the not so good side of the job, which is probably taking this apart and cleaning it, but maybe it's not so bad. Okay, the pump's still plugged in. I'm gonna unplug the pump. All right. These uh, lettuce stalks here are now no good. But we can uh, compost those into our garden like we do just about everything around here. If you're gonna have a big garden, you might as well make use as much of it as you can. So. I'd like to see what it's like to get this out of here now. No, that wasn't too bad. Here's the rock wool that I use to start the plants. Um, I'm not gonna just throw out my rock wool. I think I'm gonna keep it and, and try to reuse them. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I haven't really seen other people doing it, but I think I can. So I'm gonna keep my rock wool. I'm going to start a container for my compost here. And let's just take out a couple more. I did plant some peppers um, in this tower. Um, and tomatoes, but because of the length that they're gonna to take to grow, I just wanted to see how they were gonna do. My plants were healthy. There was nothing wrong with my plants. But I wanted to clean this tower and start fresh with just lettuce in it. So unfortunately those couple pepper and tomato plants had to go. Um, I don't think you can transplant very easily out of hydroponics into soil. It's used to the hydroponics, so I'm pretty sure my plants are just gonna die. So I'm not gonna take up room in my garden with the couple plants that I had here. So they are gonna go to waste. Um, yeah, you can kind of see here that there was a lot of roots in this rock wool. I can't reuse that rock wool there, I don't think. So that one's gonna to be toast. 
But so far, the inside of the pods um, look like they're gonna clean up just fine. They're gonna be no problem. Um, there's my clay beads. I have some big ones and some little ones and some of the bigger ones broke, but I'm gonna wash those up and reuse them. Um, my water stayed in pretty good shape in this tower. So I took care of my pH very well and my nutrients. So I think there's not too much contamination here or anything. There's the pump in the bottom. Okay, I have to undo the clamp to get the pump out. I just changed my water. I changed my water uh, probably about once a week in this tower. I maybe stretched it a little longer a couple times, but I think it was probably weekly for my water changes. And my, wa my, plant, my pot looks beautiful inside. A lot of the algae and stuff is just on the outside. These are beautiful white roots. I didn't get any root rot like I've heard other people talk about. But again, um, I pH tested my water every couple days and I took care of my nutrients to prevent this type of issue. All right, big old lettuce stalk. I'll just show a couple more of these. You don't have to see me do the whole thing. I think you're getting the idea already. It's a beautiful tower, the way that it comes apart. And the pieces screw together. It really is a good tower. You know what? I don't think the rock wool is gonna survive much. I don't know. I think I'm gonna just start fresh because starting with all those roots and everything in there just doesn't seem like a great idea to me, right? Anyways, this tower just separates from the tower below. And then it separates. I can't separate it right now because the rubber tube going up through the middle is holding it all together. But I just wanted to show you how this tower goes together. And in here, let's see if we can get a better view here. Inside of here, um, there is a piece here that the designer has put there and suggests that you put a screen in there. So I took some aluminum screen or some type of screen door screening and put in there and it helped cut down on how many roots were making it down into the bottom. Um, I had my wife help me out and I just lifted this off a couple times and we just snipped the roots off at the bottom just to keep it out of the pump. But I'm gonna say this tower was a success. I enjoyed it. I used three lights here and this was in my basement where there isn't much light. So I put another light hanging from the roof right up above it because our roof is not finished in our basement yet. Um, the three, the four lights did a good job. My plants were healthy the entire time. And only at the end were there the presence of some little red bugs. Um, they're tiny on the leaves of the kale and the, and the peppers. So I know that kale can be tough to get to grow without bugs. So um, I'm not gonna grow that again um, in the house. If it's gonna do it, then I'll maybe make an outdoor tower. Anyways, uh, go ahead and comment if you have any questions. Hydroponics is all over the internet, lots of videos of it. I just didn't see anybody really taking apart one of these towers to show the cleanup side of it, but this is all gonna clean up in no time. I'm gonna be done this in 20 minutes probably. I'll take a brush to the inside of all of those towers, clean them up really good. And then I am gonna get on my 3D printer and print uh, more of these pieces. That's all I have to do to add to this tower. I will have to put in a longer tube because I've already cut that tube. Um, but other than that, just these pieces and these inserts. And I use PET G for all of it. Um, you don't need anything special for a 3D printer. Uh, an Ender 3 or another similar cheap printer like that will do just great work for that. You don't need to um, go crazy with printers even though people are gonna try to talk you into that. All right, uh, my next video will actually probably be right back to the start 
where I'm starting some seedlings, getting them ready to put in the hydroponic tower that will be new and improved and taller to produce even more vegetables for my family. Later, YouTube.